boss man. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's actually the way you're going to start the show. No, no, no. That's boss man. He just chipped down. She's going to stand up and say he's the world's biggest Justin Bieber fan. I'd just like to shake your hand. Thank you. Thank you for speaking up for music fans everywhere. <laughs> have you ever heard what the great man thinks about that? that? I, I have no idea. And, you know, not necessarily my proudest moment, but whatever, you know. Now, um... Uh, welcome back, by the way. Uh, last bit of this morning's show with uh, Alexis, with Susie, and now Hanson, Isaac, Taylor, Zach, and of course Wasman over there. Uh, I should, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I, you won't remember, but I can. I, I first met Hanson uh, an incredible 20 years ago yeah. uh, when the irresistibly catchy mega not was topping the charts around the world. Uh, the three lads from Tulsa, Oklahoma gone on to release. I think it's seven albums. I count the Christmas yeah, albums as al albums. Yeah, right. Selling 16 million copies around the world and they're back this Christmas with a delightful festive album, a new one called Finally It's Christmas. Uh, who should we start with? Taylor. Yes. Uh, what kind of style, what kind of flavour tunes can we expect to find on Well, this? Christmas tunes. Traditional? Yeah. <laughs> old, old school? Um, it's a mix. I mean, we grew up listening to rock and roll, so we have, we try and, you know, mix in some 60s and 70s. We, we rewind a little yeah. bit all the way. We have, have really yourself around on Christmas. Sure. It's more of a band record. I mean, some bands, you know, they, bec they make an album and suddenly you go from this, like, a punk band that does, like, a crooner record be just because it's Christmas. So this is much, this is our sound. Um, yeah. It's very organic. Yeah. There's a few original songs on there. I would well. say it's the kind of record you play at a Christmas party because you want to have that feeling of a band in the room. Right. Well, we're going to our Christmas party in exactly one and a half hours' time, and yeah. I shall take this with us and we'll oh, put it to good. the test. Right, Storm? Yeah. Absolutely. She's They'll be the dancing. Jumper. There will yeah. definitely no, be dancing. Christian. So, uh, Susie, you can kick us off. Zach, you were just 11 when Mvop topped the yes. charts in 26 countries around the world. Did it just change everything? And how was that as an 11 year old? You know, it's interesting that whole process because I think the assumption is that you, you weren't preparing for that and like we started the band when i was six so the, the time by the time i was 11 it That's was sort of like when you. is this gonna you know turn into something where we can tour around the world um you never expect it but you are also preparing for it it wasn't and an accident yeah no, it so wasn't i was like oh my god 11, we're famous what i mean you guys yeah. were obviously really young dude but at 11 it that that yeah. That's a real child. You know, you, you've already, to, to have to go into an adult world and deal with the kind of baggage you have to, to go produce records and write songs and, and go, um, so much of spending your time having people say, well, you're just a kid, you don't know what you think, and then you're going, but I'm the kid whose name's on the box, I'm the kid who has to <laughs> yeah. sing the words, and so no, right we are going to talk about what I want to talk about. Um, that prepares you, I think, for dealing with the stresses of traveling the world. Does it, does it, so does it work, being a, you know, we're 11 when I'm interviewing, I, uh, yeah. does it work, does being a family, I mean, you can think of famous bands, many sure. bands, the Osmonds, Jacksons, yes. does being a family help through those, through growing up in fame, in the public it, There's some positives and some negatives. I mean, the positive is that you have this reinforcement, you, like the whole idea of like, you, you can make fun of your brothers, but they can't, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. so... And so there's that sense of us against the, the world. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. But, um, but it certainly doesn't guarantee you anything. I mean, there's no. as many stories of families causing the problem. Well, I was going to say, you know? I mean, so many bands. I mean, it must yeah. be 99.9% .9 of bands <laughs> break up because they fall out over artistic differences. Well, of course, these they days... each other's guts. But your <laughs> brothers... These days, every relationship is falling apart. It doesn't seem like anybody can keep anything <laughs> true together. Enough yeah, I mean, yeah, I, true enough. I, I think <laughs> the, the, real, the, the key is having that shared sense of purpose. And I think Absolutely. that's really like any relationship. It's like a starting a business with someone and then one business partner decides that they don't mm -hmm. care about the business. I think it's going to fall apart. So uh, having that sense of we, we got into it for music, we write our songs, we care about the future. And we also feel like... Um, you know, music is a positive. It's not a. It's, it's not a. It's there to put something better into. Well, the, for us, you know? music is therapy, just like it is. I think for a lot of music yeah. fans, right? We you're need writing therapy, these. Yeah, yeah, so. we need a lot of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep writing. You're going to need a whole lot more by the time you leave. <laughs> right, right. But I, but I think that the, the challenge, I, I think with that, that is, you know, you have to say to yourself, okay, well, if I'm going through a rough patch. Um, I want to write a song about that, but I also want to try and find some kind of hope in it as well. And so I think we've had a tendency to write songs that are both about the 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 optimism kind of being the front and center, but the back, but the but the shall we say the context 
yeah. is, hey, things are kind of weird. Things are you yeah. put challenging. You imperfect answers into your songs. Okay. Yeah. Now, tell me, what's, what's Christmas like, then, in the Hanson household? Uh, Do you all get together? It's big, yeah. I mean, between the three of us, so I have four kids. Taylor has five. Oh Isaac has God, three. You're 11 when I met. Now you have four kids. Yeah. Yeah, That's so, 20 years um, for you. That makes for a pretty crazy party when you get that many you know, kids together. And then, you know, we're from seven kids, so we're the three oldest of seven. So then you have a bunch of other adults. And then we have more nieces and nephews and stuff. So, um, and, and then our youngest brother is like hanging out with five children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say this. It is like uh, exactly what your Christmas is like, only louder. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm on my own. He's alone He's on fishing. a beach I'm fishing. going fishing on my own. <laughs> exactly. A lot louder. Yeah. Um, I, I, can I ask something about Oklahoma? I'm fascinated by Oklahoma. It's one of the sure. countries states of America I've always wanted to go to. I noticed they've got the vote on legalizing medical marijuana. Uh, next yes. year. Yeah. Is that something you think will get carried? I think it, in Oklahoma, it, it I, seems inevitable that it will eventually, whether it does now yeah. or not, because it's just it, the tide is happening across the whole country. It's certainly happening across the country. It's not yeah. happening here. Yeah. I have to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Alexia, something from you? No, Isaac, you, you guys played Manchester on Sunday, didn't we you? Did. Are you doing more gigs in the UK? Uh, we just did two gigs uh, at Shepherd's Bush Empire over the summer right. uh, when we were on our kind of world tour, uh, kind of anniversary tour, and then we did that. 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then we did uh, the show in Manchester for the Christmas uh, run. Um, but unfortunately, probably until next year, there probably yeah. won't be any shows we in the We haven't UK. announced anything yet, but we plan to come back in 2018. So, yeah. so just one gig in Manchester. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it's just a little here and there. We've, we've done gigs since May, touring all over the world. So we started in Europe and then the U.S. and South America and Australia. And so we wanted to do some special gigs for the new Christmas album. But we also all want to go home. So <laughs> we, we didn't want to do that many Merry gigs. Christmas, kids. <laughs> See you in January. <laughs> Santa's so, gonna show up, but Dad's not. Yeah, so, we're not worried so, about the spoiling our kids' things. We just tell them, deal with it. We'll see. You, know, you don't need to see your dad. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was wondering. So many, I mean, you can't buy presents for everybody in the family. Even. Oh no, 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 we decided. We decided years ago that we, we don't buy gifts for each other. We don't buy gifts for each other's kids. Yeah. We just show yeah, up. Yeah. And, we show up and say Merry Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> I'm here. Hello. I, I, I think that's fantastic. I think yeah. it's fantastic. It, it makes things a lot less complicated <laughs> because you just it's a you know you buy a meal for each other instead of trying to buy the latest yeah. whatever tech gadget or thing. Let's is. also be honest no. too. We were trying not to make our parents okay. bankrupt. Now, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys better hang out over there because okay. Hanson are about to sing us out. Uh, while I say some goodbyes, uh, Susie, Alexis, thank you. Uh, another wicked show. One more of them to go. Uh, ladies and gents, give it up for the panel, please. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, uh, for the final show, uh, not just for the week, but the whole damn year, Yorkshire vet Julian Norton will be running you through the headlines. We'll be talking Christmas telly with Kevin Ho 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 O'Sullivan, enjoying a festive performance from the Fizz, revealing who's won our Christmas competition, and asking, as is now tradition, if Christmas cards are evil. Of course they are. Here's Hanson to sing us out with their take on a festive classic, Joy to the Mountain. Take it away, chaps. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And never in nature sing, and never in nature sing. And heaven and nature sing Joy to the world, the Savior reigns Let men their songs implore By fields and floods, by hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat the sounding joy Telling on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go telling on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove. The glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, love, and wonders of his love, love, and wonders of his love. Go tell it on the mountain, oh, the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Tell it on 
the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born That Jesus Christ is born The Savior's born We know that Jesus